So what's the biggest thing people are getting wrong when looking at buying a Tesla Powerwall for their home? It's all about this question of battery storage. And so in today's video, I want to go into why this isn't the right question to be asking. And then we're going to have a look at some of the benefits of a Tesla Powerwall, including both the tangible and intangible benefits. And then at the end, I'm going to ask a question back to you. So to start with, why isn't this the right question to be asking? And basically, we don't ask about return on investment when with anything else, whether it's solar power, whether it's a car, whether it's a kitchen or a TV, there's a range of price points. And then in return, you get the benefits and the features of the product. And so I mentioned solar power there, and you might be raising an eyebrow. And that's because in the good old days of solar, yeah, that was the main question to be asking. And that's why so many people are asking it about battery storage, because solar power was expensive and we didn't have battery storage. And so we dial in a system to be the right size for your home based on how much power you were using during the daytime. And if we did that correctly, you would minimize the amount of time it took for the system to pay for itself. These days though, solar power is relatively cheap, many, many times cheaper than it was before. And we've got battery storage. And so we've moved on from the, the days of worrying about return on investment. And we're now for well over 90% of our customers looking at getting your power bill to be as small as possible. And they're two totally different things because a small power bill for decades, literally, is completely different to worrying about how quickly the system can pay for itself because you've got a small system compared to a very large system integrated with battery storage. The large system with battery storage is going to save you a lot of money if your power bill's big compared to if you've got a smaller system in the good old days, you know, we sold a lot of two kilowatt and three kilowatt systems. Yeah, the system would pay for itself relatively quickly, um, but it doesn't save you as much money as these big systems are doing now. And so because we've moved on from worrying about return on investment, it's not the right question to be asking. And so when you're looking at battery storage, what we really want to help you do is reduce your power bills as close to zero as possible. And many of our customers are actually in credit. And so that leads on to the next part of this video, which is about the benefits of getting a battery. And so combined with solar power, if it's sized up cor correctly, the biggest benefit that, that we're giving to pretty much all of our customers is a really small power bill. And like I said, many customers are actually in credit. Now, I'll, put, I'll link to a different video where we talk about the two different ways to think about it because a $50 a quarter power bill may actually be a better scenario than being in credit. And so we'll leave out the details of that and put it and we'll link you to that other video. But for now, let's just say that the main benefit is we can get your power bill to be really small for decades. The next main benefit is blackout protection. And so there's a number of reasons why people want to have blackout protection. But even before the world kind of got a little bit crazy, um, before COVID started, we had a number of really big storms in Sydney, especially in the summer. And we've got a lot of customers that actually have already got the full benefit out of having battery storage um, for because there was a number of blackouts for, say, three to four days. And so we had one customer that had uh, pumps in the in the basement. And um, if the pumps don't work, the basement would flood. And, and so this customer had two blackouts in the one summer. And the Tesla Powerwall basically um, saved them thousands of dollars just by being able to run the pumps and keep the water out of the basement. Other customers have freezers full of food, um, fish tanks even, you know, that can be worth quite a lot of money. Um, and, and, you know, everything in between. Everyone's different. Um, some people have teenage kids that need, you know, the phone to recharge and the modem to be working, etc. So blackout protection um, is a very tangible benefit that a lot of people really value. And perhaps on day two or three of a blackout, you don't realize just how much <laughs> you, you do value having um, that insurance policy that is, is uh, blackout protection. And so then um, finally, I'll, there's, there's a few more, but finally, I just want to mention the environmental side of this because a lot of people are installing battery storage for that um, particular reason. And I know climate change is very political, um, but so we'll leave that to, to the side. But in terms of what you can do is if you put a very large solar system on your roof with battery storage, you're essentially able to run your home 24 hours a day on solar power. And so because our electricity grid here in Sydney and, and right across Australia is predominantly powered by coal and gas, 
if that's something that you would like to change, um, a lot of people are starting to realize that, well, okay, the political solution is actually going to take a really long time. Um, but what you can do is basically put your money where your mouth is and convert your home really quickly within, you know, basically you sign up and the system's installed in a matter of days or, or weeks. And then you've ticked that box. Your, your home's now powered by solar. Um, and a lot of people are doing that. And, you know, that's that's a very great thing to be doing. Most of us here at Solar A are really passionate about it. Um, and we love it when people come to us and say, hey, look, we, we want to go green. We want we want to run our home on solar power. And and so that's that's a real tangible benefit. Although leading on from that is is perhaps the more intangible side of things where you feel really good about the fact that you are um, running your home on, on solar power. But that extends out from just the environmental side of it because um, when you have a, a new lifestyle where you don't need to worry about petrol prices if you say you got an, an electric vehicle um, or even a hybrid, you know, to a lesser extent. And, and there's not that many people that are running their EV entirely on solar power, but even partially, um, the idea that you've got that lifestyle where the petrol price doesn't matter so much, but also the electricity prices don't matter so much. And a lot of people, myself included, have got one eye on Europe and, you know, looking at what's happening over there with, with their electricity prices. Um, it's certainly something that a lot of people are more concerned about. So if you don't need to worry about that for, for decades, um, that's, that's a peace of mind that you can buy, basically. And so there's real intangible benefits that come with um, this product that you can basically, you know, install. And then from there, you, you've, you've got the, the lifestyle where you can, um, yeah, not have to worry so much about what the future of power prices may be in Australia because it's, you know, we're, we're all a bit selfish, but you can kind of just say, well, it, it doesn't actually affect me. And that's something that a lot of people are really happy about once they've gone and put this um, solar and battery solution in. And so finally, the question I want to ask back to you is, why do you want battery storage? Because if it really is about return on investment, don't worry about it. You know, just forget about battery storage um, and, and spend your money on a cruise. <laughs> you know, if you want to get battery storage to reduce your power bill close to zero for decades, or if it's an environmental reason, or you, you want to have blackout protection for whatever reason, whether it's, you know, to do with summer storms or whether you're worried about... Um, uh, supply issues in the grid and, and that type of thing, they're all really valid reasons why you could look at installing battery battery storage, um, either you know adding that to your solar system or along with a new system. And so if you'd like to look into the numbers further um, for your household, then we'd be happy to give you, say, three key numbers over the phone, and it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes. And those would be, of course, how much it costs, that's very important, um, the potential benefit based on what we can fit on your roof or what your budget may be for the for the project, um, we, can, we can take that into account and tell you, okay, this is how much you can save based on a number of different factors. And then finally, you know, we'll, we'll answer any questions that you've got um, and make sure that you've got all the information you need before you kind of pull the trigger and, and get this done. So if that sounds like uh, something you'd be interested in, I'll put the number up on the screen here so you can give us a call. Otherwise, there's a link down below uh, where you can click through to our calendar and book a call back at a time that suits you. So hopefully that helps, um, and we'll see you in the next video.